Creek 2023 is epic. In the last episode, you saw us tackle the infamous Palm Creek in by far the worst conditions we have ever seen. I think we just got lucky that it had almost completely dried out. It was a steeper and deeper entry than any other year. And I think over the years, as the cast passed through and the wet seasons continue to make this more difficult, I reckon Palm Creek will just about be undrivable. But hey, we all enjoy the challenge if it presents itself. I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't tackle the uphill climb out, but we can have a crack next year. We got stuck at the Dalhunty exit. Winch failed at the critical moment when we needed it most. Turned out it was the damn fuse which we diagnosed at camp that night. In today's episode, we are presented with a few challenges, including the ever-changing Gunshot Creek. Well, gotta say, it is changed. The beautiful Cockatoo, which is in my opinion, one of the most underrated creeks on the track, and well, the rest, you'll just have to watch. Hello guys, here we are with Gunshot Creek, the famous Gunshot Creek. As you can see behind us, the track is not what it used to be. It used to be probably all the way up here and dropped down. Quite more vertical. So it's very washed out, everything's changed. It's not, it's not like Palm Creek. Palm Creek's yeah. the new gunshot, I think. Um, you can't really get to the other tracks on the other side. It's 2023. And I'm a bit excited, but I'm a little bit disappointed at the same time that we don't have the big gunshot anymore. So. That's right. Then we'll get amongst it anyway and get get up there and still do the... Do you the, just hit it a bit harder. Do the original. <laughs> a bit quicker, you reckon? <laughs> you just send it off the top. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. And then yeah. Shell had a bit of a bit of a spiel. Bit of a spill. Bit of a spill. Bit of a spill. <laughs> falling down, falling down the track, trying to bring the cameras down. This camera can catch. Camera can catch real. Well. Yeah, the dancing's coming for that. Come on, buddy. All right. We'll get loaded up. Get ready. We don't think we need a set of winch point or anything up for this one now. Yeah. It's just we'll be good to go. Pretty straightforward. Samson's doing his hill climb. Righto. Let's get up, get loaded. See you on the other side. Righto, first up is Goody on the chicken track. As you can see here, still a pretty big drop for someone with not a massive four wheel drive history. Put on that brake. Right now, that Hilux looks like a front end loader. <laughs> and I tell you what, mate, you could bloody well get a job up here on the road crew with that ability. <laughs> Good drive there, Red Man. How's it going, mate? How was that? It's good, mate. Good. Good. Just waiting for these lads. Big sorted. Ah, you have a look at the front of your car, yeah? <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> light, mate. Got a bit on. Got a bit on. Get I'll tell you what, there, Scuba. I really thought with the length of that one. And I'm only talking about your car here, mate. Get your mind out of the gutter. That you might have gone home there. But you surprised me and you drove it without needing a tow. Great job, mate. Right, O'Shane, you're up next, mate, in this HJ60. Show the viewers at home exactly why you built this vehicle. The control that you have in this old Land Cruiser is just next level. Great drive. How was that? That was awesome. Yeah? Easy one, eh? Was easy, it's yeah. a bit daunting coming over that first edge, isn't it? Just kept going and going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on up. Now 
looking back, because we didn't have the steep entry like the original gunshot, I think we underestimated the track a little bit on this one. And as you can see, the rear wheel drops into the rut, making Delilah contact the entire bank on the driver's side, damaging our snorkel. If that was on the other side, we could have very well lost our warning to gunshot. I guess the real thing to take out of this is always take the extra precaution. A couple of max tracks used here in the rut could have very well prevented any damage. How's that, Cameron? Hey? How's that? Hey, that was that was different, eh? That was like, different. We rubbed right up the side of that bank. Yeah, look at that. That was soft. Snorkel. That's the only damage. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just cleaned it up a bit. That would have destroyed our canopy if we did that. As you can see here, he just didn't have the momentum to get through the first wheel. Because as the front wheel came off the ground, the rear on the opposite side of the vehicle lost all traction as well. That and a combination of goody might have gotten a little bit scared just as the wheel lifted. If you've never experienced this before, it can be quite a daunting feeling. Quick reset. A little bit more right foot to get to the other Nice, Mike. Good drive. And as usual, Shane just showing everybody up with that automatic transmission. Cockatoo Creek. What a beautiful spot. We stopped here for a quick lunch, a beverage, and a swim. This place here never ever disappoints. Its majestic scenery in the remote part of the country just never lets you down. However, the exit here is just about like quicksand. So, you're in for one hell of a show. This guy was stuck in the exit, in the easier track of the two lines. So we said we'll give him a quick tow up. Now let's see how we got to this point. Wheel ruts just made this cross rutted section extremely difficult to navigate. The super soft wet sand just didn't let us get the traction we needed. Forcing us to take an alternative line, a lot more right boot, just to get through. Send it mate, full send. Just need more berries. Oh, Jen needs more berries. From what I can gather, in this guy's defense, I told him to make sure that the strap remained tight so he wouldn't run it over. This said, riding his brake and steering in the wrong direction made this a very difficult recovery and putting a lot of load on Delilah. Yeah, right. Lowering his tire pressures to around 12 to 14 PSI might have just been enough for him to drive out under his own steam. Lower tyre pressures are a very important role in helping you drive in soft sand, as it increases the length of your tyre making contact with the ground. But hey, at least he's given it a crack and getting amongst the four-wheel drive community.
Next up, we got Goody with that N70 Hilux. Mate, you're going to need all the power you got to get up there. Ah, yeah, you can see those Max tracks just did their thing. Provides the extra grip for you to be able to get up there. Good job. Right, Askeeba, your turn, mate. Yeah, guys, just have a listen to the two V8. Ah, mate, you were nearly there. Maybe another max track under that left hand wheel, but you're well seen to get up. Right, O'Shea, show these guys how to drive. Ah, unlucky, mate. Give it another go. Quick reset, different line to avoid the ruts. A little bit more buoyancy. See, Shane gets through no lines. If only you didn't have a muffler, that loud pedal would have a little bit more note. Was it? Love okay. that. Love For an old Leaf Sprung 75 series, I'm pretty impressed with the way the suspension has flexed. The Terrain Team and Parabolic Leaves have proven their worth in this moment. And without this suspension setup, there is no way my old stiff bus would ever have driven this washed out section of track. Well, I tell you what, we were not far off for the ride in that washout. If we had our time over again, Shell wouldn't have been alone out the front trying to direct the vehicle and film, all whilst trying to navigate the ground so she stayed on her feet. Now, Canal Creek. Whilst there are many impressive line choices you can attempt to navigate your way in and out for the die-hard four-wheel drive fan, many tracks will see you needing a lot more vehicle mods to challenge some of the more impressive uphill climbs of this creek crossing. There is a simpler path you can follow to avoid any real difficulty. The scenery here is just captivating. With crystal clear waters, small waterfalls and many deep pools, you can always find a nice spot to yourself. We do highly recommend stopping here for at least a couple of nights just to unwind and soak it all in. find a spatula so I can make a birthday cake. Mm. Cause you know we don't want her to miss out on the birthday cake. Uh, okay. She goes to me, what's my birthday present? I said, oh, you got a bull bar coming for you, car. What more do you want? <laughs> Woman? Oh yeah. She noticed at first she said that uh, Cam's got budgies on, they were pretty cool. What do you reckon of the track? I reckon it's bloody great. Bloody great. Yeah, Haven't bloody great, yeah. Piss off, put your clothes on. Teenagers. Oh, don't put me in the camera, Cam. Oh, I'm knackered, man. 
knackered. Oh, the bastard, yeah. But this Cracks is the man me. who drove Palm Creek. Well, I had a little bit of assistance. How to go. Man. A little bit of assistance, mate. I went down it, that's about it. Palm Creek, <laughs> better than Gunshot this year. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did Gunshot as well. We did a ride in Gunshot. Didn't need to tell you. Ah, well, what a birthday. Waking up surrounded by water at Birdie Creek, conquering some epic four-wheel driving, exploring a few of my favourite falls, and last but not least, being treated to a surprise group cooked double layer camp on birthday cake. Definitely one that I will always cherish for a very long time. Thanks guys, big love. So, run to the car this morning, just woke up, and we've had a couple of noises coming from it along the track, and as you can see here, we've got a wear mark on our tie rod end bar. Well, what it was doing is at certain points it'd, it'd get caught up here on this. This here was rotated a bit further around. So this morning I jumped under it and just undid it and rotated it back around. So when you're steering and it's all, you know, you're articulated, it's not gonna, it's not gonna rub and get caught on, on each other. You see here on this end, this one doesn't have that problem because it doesn't, doesn't rotate and come up that far. So, if you've got an old Land Cruiser like this one, old 75 series, just take note of where that actually sits. And uh, try and avoid this if you can. Go finish the old telly. So we've got all the water crossings coming up today, so just a little bit of maintenance 101 before we go through it all and do it all. And here he is, the boy. Hey, sit down, sit down. Say hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> so, yeah. Someone wants to get a snuggle, don't ya? Oh boy. Hello. To the two guys sitting down here, if you're watching us now and you can leave a comment below explaining the conversation we had at Sam's Creek, we'll send you a couple of burning shirts and some stickers. Eat <laughs> sick. Man, you drove the auto that slow you stalled it. And I reckon if I had a 60 as nice as yours, I'll probably do the same. The way you drive and look after it, I really envy your devotion to that beer hauler. By the way mate, it's your shout at camp tonight after that drive.
to what? Wheel this? We place the match tracks on the side which is off camera, packing up the track, hoping to keep the side of the cars off the higher wall on the passenger side, as we noticed our vehicle scraped on that side. I quite think this was the line Goody intended to drive. However, with the wheel being lifted sometimes, you just don't have full control. Still, he wasn't the only one we witnessed get thrown over there unintentionally. Geez, Skeeps, the only thing saving your canopy door from that bank was the max track in the hole. They're well worth every penny when it comes to saving panels on your vehicle, I'll tell you that. Those diff locks make all the difference with you being able to drive up there with that much control. Well done, mate. Good job. Coming up in the next episode on the Boonies, we see the Falls, Twin, Elliot and Fruitback. Now Samson, well, he's just an adrenaline junkie. We take on the northern end of the track with Cypress Log Bridge, Logan Creek. Man, this is boggy. Plenty of track building and digging. We swamp the car and Shell's not impressed as this muddy water is putrid. And of course, the one and only car claiming Nolan's Brook. Hell, this is deep. Do we make it to the tip? You will have to tune in and see.